Yeah, g'day, it's Charlie again. Had quite a good successful day today uh, wiring up the uh, the bandpass filter unit uh, using the uh, the diode switching. Um, you would have seen maybe a, uh, an earlier video I put up today with some of the experiments looking at insertion losses and um, some of the leakages. But uh, all in all, um, I settled on using some 1N60 FMs, um, some germanium diodes which I uh, I managed to salvage out of an old uh, FT301 um, so as you see there's so these six of them there so what we have here is a, um, a bandpass filter uh, unit um, 80 meter bandpass filter um, a 40 and a 20 and if I just zoom in a little bit at the moment the way it's configured is the inputs coming in from um, because it's purely just received at the stage of the game uh, coming in from our antenna amplifier coming in the input is applied to uh, all three in the series, so, uh, in parallel, sorry, um, and only when the diode is actually switched on will that particular filter be um, will be uh, in the circuit. The output then comes back through and goes to our our first mixer. The control lines here disappear off to the teensy. I um, had sufficiently uh, a sufficient number of spare pins to uh, label that. So uh, those are digital pins and uh, we'll have a look at the code later on just showing how each one, one of these in turn is set low and the other two are set high. And um, if you recall from the circuit um, by setting one of those low then um, these inductors here i just zoom out a little bit uh, through these control lines uh, these inductors are then earthed out which then supplies uh, an earth to the diode. The other side is hot sitting at, through these parallel lines here, sitting at 3.3 um, .3 volts. So you recall there was a suggestion made to move away from 12 volts to 3.3 .3, um, and that worked perfectly fine. So we just dropped down that resistor down from a 3.3k down to a 1k and um, it's looking very good. Um, these white lines here are just um, the way it's, this has been made up is just transferring that digital line coming in across the other side so um, both the left hand or shall we say the input side um, is switched on as well as the output side so um, the RF comes in depending on which one's turned on through the bandpass filter out the uh, the, the um, adjacent diode and then and then out um, and there goes a the reconfigured IEF strip from last night so again doing away with that uh, transistor circuit here that was supplying 12 volts and now it's just coming straight in so 3.3 uh, .3 volts is enough to uh, to switch these on quite happily so that's the uh, the reconfigure there uh, and as you can see it's a, it's a much cleaner setup uh, now than I had last night anyway so just so in action there um, you can just see down the bottom left hand corner here or bottom right hand corner uh, three and a half megs um, so that's just a tone coming in from the SIG gen and uh, just loosely coupled to the antenna port here so uh, it's just a matter of hitting the old band switch down here so we now go to the 40 meter band and theoretically now or well, I know this center um, filter is now in play so the frequency is 7 megs if we just now change the frequency to um, seven we'll start to see that come through that is there um, we just drop that down so that's working quite happily and then uh, if we go up to to the 20 meter band now this bottom uh, filters in play and if we crank this up to 14 megs then we'll start to see that come through now so uh, that's working quite happily and then it just cycles back through again So um, he, here's a look at the code. Uh, all I've done the end, I've assigned um, three digital pins. So they're notionally called band 80 pin, 40 and 20. So I had three available pins uh, on the Teensy. Um, they get declared as output pins and initially set high. So high means that that particular filter is turned off. So this is the initial setting. Um, and what I've created here is a, um, a function called bandpass filters, which gets called 
whenever the band gets changed. So in this particular case, if the band switch is selected, then the mode gets changed, the frequency gets reset to the start of that particular band, and then the bandpass filters function gets called. And what the bandpass filters function does is, where's it gone? Here it is. Um, it looks to see which band it is, and then selects the appropriate pin low. So in this particular case, band is one, which is 80 meters. So the 80 meter pin is set to low, and the other two are set high. And then conversely, um, or similarly, I should say, for the 40 meter and the 20 meter band, their respective pins get set low. And um, as we've seen in the circuit, when that particular pin gets set low, um, it allows um, that biasing current, uh, say again, voltage to be applied to the, the diode switching that particular one on. And that's essentially it. There's no other code changes um, in, in the code. Anyway, thanks for listening. Um, any questions, sing out. And uh, we will continue experimenting and on with the next part of uh, the radio. Thanks very much. Cheers.